Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the 25th week. We celebrate the memorial of saints Andrew Kim and Paul Chong and their companions who were martyrs. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's not going to work. It's impossible. It just can't be done. Those are words we use so often today, both in churches and outside of churches. So as we begin, let's reflect for a moment on Jesus told us that God is the master of the impossible. For the times that we let worry get in our way, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, who made the blood of martyrs, Saints Andrew, Kim, and his companions, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, in the way, way of your commands. commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide, Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinances before me. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it within all my heart. Guide, Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Some time ago, I was reading about the First Grace Church in New Orleans. Uh, it, interestingly enough, this goes back oh, maybe 2013, I believe it was, they merged. And at a time when our churches are going through many, many mergers, the first began they did, well, of course, the two churches that merged, one was for white people, the other was for black people. And so um, when they first weekend, they gathered together in the same building, apparently the tension, just the nervousness on quote unquote both sides was very apparent. But then something happened. They began to realize that this was right after Katrina, that and Katrina was 2005. Um, so this took place right after that, this actual event. They began to realize that there were more things that needed to be done. People needed to be helped. People needed to be fed. People needed legal help. People needed simple things like first aid and just simple things like that. There were elderly people that needed people to help, quote unquote, take care of them. And so what this church did, it saw the mission. If you remember back when we had the flood in 2011, what a difference uh, it made when we pulled together. The only thing that mattered was making sure that people, when they came together, they were fed, they received the necessary supplies. And that's what really matters in life 
not the differences we have, but the things we have in common. So it seems to me that when we care about the things in life that matter, when we are more concerned that our neighbor doesn't have and that we can provide, it seems to me that's how we become one. It isn't always in the best of circumstances, but we know that God not only works in the good times, but also in the bad. God bless. For those people that have been with us as we struggle through life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those people now who live in nursing homes, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those people that have made us better people and who now live in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer, to truly bless our lives and our day through Christ our Lord. Blessing you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of God's holy church. Look with favor on God these offerings of your people that through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, Grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, today we celebrate the gift of martyrdom. Those people that were so dedicated to you that they gave their life in the service of others. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Paul Laurie and Kathy and Ed Schubert, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, and safe from all distress 
as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourish with the food of the valiant, we celebrate the blessed martyrs. We humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.